and good evening to my show. So, before I go into tonight, I wanted to say um, that um, I, I sent my email out this week, and uh, in that, there's an excerpt from my new book. And so, I'm going to be releasing these every sort of couple of weeks now. Not every week, but every couple of weeks. And um, I've released that one on my social media if anyone wants to read it. But I'm going to be releasing them every couple of weeks. So if you're interested in catching up and um, reading a little bit about what I've been writing about, uh, just subscribe to my mailing list. And you can do that via my social media stuff. And also, I'm available for one-to-one -one coaching. So if you're interested in that, and you might be at the end of this show, if you stay to the end and listen to what I've got to actually say, you might be interested in having a bit of one-to-one -one coaching with me. So please listen to what I've got to say and see what you think. And what I'm going to talk about tonight, I had a conversation with someone um, last week, um, and it made me laugh, actually, because um, they said to me, I think you'd make a really good life coach. And... I was like, well, that's what I do. and uh, <laughs> But I can understand the confusion there. Because people have different ideas about what coaching actually is. And it set me off thinking a little bit about, you know, what people per people's perceptions of coaching and what coaching actually is and stuff like that. And I, underst I understand this because when I first started coaching, I got a lot of people getting in touch with, you know, all sorts of problems, uh, assuming that I dealt with things like which therapists deal with or counsellors deal with, for instance. You know, people with real in-depth, um, deep problems, mental problems, that sort of thing. So I can understand why there's a confusion between what people actually think coaching is, the perception of what it is, and what it actually is. And it's it's true to say that there are different types of coaches out there. You know, you've got what I call normal coaches and then you've got what I do, which is called core energy coaching. And what I'm going to do is run through the two types so that you've got a very clear uh, understanding or definition of what the two types are and the differences between them. And why, um, you know, normal coaching might be good for some people. However, what I do is very different from normal coaching. And I understand why. And that person suggested that I would be a good normal coach, but um, I'm not a normal coach. So, a normal coach. What does a normal coach do? Most <coughs> coaches uh, are action oriented, right? So that means that they're focused on identifying a goal, uh, creating a, a series of steps in order to achieve that goal. So, um, they, uh, and then also they provide you with accountability to actually get to where you want to go. So, for instance, you might go to them with a, an issue of, I want a new job or something like that. So, this approach is extremely effective um, in the short term. Because while the client's enthusiasm and motivation is quite high, um, they're, 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 they're committed to it. Unfortunately, the ability to sustain that high level of motivation and commitment um, in the long term, after they've not when they're not receiving that coaching, wanes. So the outcome and, and and they don't repeat the process over and over again like they're meant to, like they would do under the um, normal conditions of coaching. So what happens is they they don't achieve the outcome that they really want. This is a case where the problem that they come to the coach with isn't actually the problem you see. So if someone comes to you with a, a, a problem, oh, I want a new job, I want to um, improve my relationships, I want to get more confidence, they're the things that they come to the coach with, but it's not necessarily what the issue is. The underlying issue is something probably, well, it's very different. So without recognising and, and addressing, addressing these underlying issues, that you don't even realise are actually going on half the time, it's far less likely that then you're going to uh, under, gain a deeper understanding uh, of the behaviours that you need in order to move forward and, and, and change and achieve the goals that you really want in life. And again, the goal that you go to the coach with, nine times out of ten, that isn't the real goal that you really want out of life. 
you might think it is but it's actually something underneath that for instance if you're looking for um a better relationship it's actually fulfillment and happiness that you're looking for not the the the, the thing on the top so that's what i mean by saying it's un, it's an underlying factor that you're actually looking to achieve you're not looking to achieve a new job or or a new better relation you're, you're looking to achieve the underlying factors beneath that <laughs> and if you go to a normal coach they will only focus on getting you the new job they won't focus on the underlying factors behind that so while they might achieve their initial goals why you might get that job or you know have a better relationship or things like that the process won't be repeatable um without the help without without the coach's help because it, like i said you're not you're not um identifying and um addressing the underlying issues that are creating that need in the first place you're only wipe, pushing it to one side and focusing on the goal or the better relationships you're not looking at the reason why you want that job you're not looking at the reason why you want a better relationship or why you haven't had a better relationship they're the underlying issues. So basically, normal coaching is a short-term solution uh, for a long-term problem. You're putting a sticky plaster on a, on a big cut. You're not going to solve the problem. You're just going to push, push it to one side to, to, for another day and, and focus on a short-term achievement, which, which might look good in the short term, but in the long term, it's not going to really move you forward with your life, is it? Now, that's normal coaching. That's what Joe Bloggs coaching out there who hasn't been trained does. That's what anybody can do. I can do it. You can do it. Anybody can wake up in the morning, say, I'm going to be a coach today, and then set up a website and decide they're going to be a coach and then give advice and um, say, you know, I think you should, um, you know, brush your teeth more and comb your hair more and wear better, better clothes. And then, you then you you know, might, might be anyone can give advice. It's not about giving advice. That's the difference. Normal coaching is is easy. Anyone can do that. Transformational coaching is different. That's core energy coaching. That's what I am trained in. That's what uh, IPEC, uh, the Institute of Professional Excellence in Coaching, train their coaches to do. And it's unique and it's very, very powerful. In contrast um, to normal coaching, transformational coaching, core energy coaching, <clears throat> operates from the inside out so many clients come to the co uh, coaching with uh, an outer goal in mind like as i just said the job or the better relationship and core energy coaches start the process from the inside so where we we find the root of the um, challenges that are causing you any consternation or worry or things like that and the blocks um, that are stopping us being successful in life these include limiting perspectives fear um defeating thoughts worries that we've got that we don't know where they're coming from but we know we're worried about something you know all of these things they're adopted unconsciously from life from our friends from our family from our media from everything that we experience in life that's where our subconscious creates all these beliefs from and things like that and they're the things that stop us moving forward and they're the things that we work on to remove or uh, uh, become aware of and change and things like that so these thoughts live uh, under the surface, so they're not prevalent, you're not aware of them again, hence why you don't always recognise what the underlying issue is when you're trying to focus on achieving something in life, you're not looking at the real reason why you want to achieve something, you're looking at the reason on top of the, ch um, on, on the, on the hill, like a, a cherry on top of the cake. You think, oh yeah, I want a new job. Why do you want a new job? When your old one is probably just as good and you just haven't identified the reasons why you don't like your job. So hidden from the client's awareness. And that's exactly why we don't see these things, because we're not aware of our underlying issues in the subconscious that are creating these issues in the first place. And these are huge drivers for unproductive choices and un um, unprodu unproductive behaviours, basically. The, the thoughts that are not working for us under the surface, which we're not even aware of. So I pick call uh, energy coaches... Um, they, we received highly specialised training, which is unique, and that's why it costs so much bloody money, because it's 
it's not what every a, a normal coach can go online and become qualified with, for five hundred pound and get a diploma. I pet coaches cost twenty grand to get qualified because it's incredibly um, unique in in its process, and that's why um, it's so fundamentally important to understand the difference between a normal coach and what I do, which is core energy coaching, and the differences between that. So. We under, we uncover the blind spots. We help you uncover the blind spots that hold you back from being who you really want to be in life and achieving what you want in life and helping you to bring awareness to, um, to yourself and to your life and shift those inner blocks so that they're no longer holding you back in life and creating new perspectives, new beliefs that work for you. So, and as a, as a result of this, the inner blocks um, become cleared we clear them away so they're no longer an issue for you and clients feel much more comfortable and less stressed as a result so we uncover the deepest passions and your purpose in life and what motivates you what gets you going in life a recipe for radical sustainable success is in motion that's what we work to create with you and it's highly creative with a coach and a client in partnership and at all stages of the process the client takes the lead and choosing what experiences in life they really want to live and that's what we help you create so providing you with the wisdom and the answers to do that and the coach is therefore here there to facilitate the process of the client as the client uncovers all of these underlying blocks and issues that are holding them back and beliefs or whatever you want to call them that are stopping you creating the life that you want and becoming the person you really want and seeing the true brilliance that you have got in your arsenal core energy coaching is backed by psychotherapy neurolinguistic program mentoring consulting quantum physics there's ten thousand hours of research behind it so it's not a little thing so when you say oh yeah you'd be a good at normal coaching that's the equivalent of turning around to a premier league footballer and saying you know what you'd do really good in non-league <laughs> So I hope that helps. Do you understand the difference between normal coaching and core energy coaching? They're a world apart. One works to change your life forever. One works to change your life for 10 minutes. That's the difference. Have a great night, everyone. And get in touch if you want some coaching. See you soon. Bye-bye.